The Importance of Maka Busha Day On the full moon day of the third lunar month known as Maka, a great assembly of Buddhist monks took place at Weruwana Temple. This day was also marked by four great events. One, it was a Buddhist holy day known as Ubosota Day on the auspicious month of Maka when the moon was at its fullest. 2. 1,250 Buddhist monks assembled spontaneously with no prior verbal arrangement. This meant that the Buddha never had anyone request their presence. But they arrived at the great assembly from different locations on their own accord as a result of their all compassing knowledge. 3. All the Buddhist monks had attained arahatship that liberated them from all defilements. They possess higher knowledge that gave them supernormal power, celestial eye and ears, ability to recall their past lifetimes, and the ability to see into other people's thoughts. 4. All the Buddhist monks were known as Ehi Bhikkhu, meaning that their ordination was conferred and performed by the Buddha himself. During the Great Assembly, the Buddha delivered the principal teaching called Ovada Patimoka, the ideal, principle, and method in propagating his teachings. Achieving the ideal was the highest goal of Buddhists and people of the world, and it is composed of three things. First, Success comes to those who exercise patience and perseverance, for humans have to confront and endure suffering and misery starting from birth. Overcoming life's suffering requires patience, a great tool to eliminate defilements. Second, every Buddha prior taught the same thing. Nirvana is the greatest happiness. Practice patience and perseverance so that one can attain nirvana. Third, an ascetic who kills or harms others cannot be considered a true ascetic. While we have not attained nirvana, one must be completely virtuous and vigilant by not performing additional unwholesome deeds because we are all still under the law of kama. If we accrued more misdeeds, regardless of what they may be, it would mean that we have not exercised patience, and without patience, we surely will not reach nirvana. The principle that the Buddha gave is an important guideline in the decision-making process for Buddhists and people of the world. If an action went against the principle, then we would avoid that action. Only when the action conforms to the principle would we carry it out. The principle comprises three components. 1. Do not perform any misdeeds regardless of its degree, because we are all still under the law of karma. Therefore, before carrying out any actions, we must ask ourselves whether the action is unwholesome. If it is, we will not do it. 2. Continue to perform wholesome deeds. Any good deeds that exist in the world we have to perform those deeds to the fullest when we have the opportunity because there will be certain wholesome deeds that we won't have the chance to do. 3. Purify our mind at all times. Persevere in meditation practice without missing a single day. Once our minds become increasingly purified, we will be able to attain nirvana. The method is the way to conduct oneself in a manner consistent with the good qualities of Buddhists and people of the world. It is composed of the following six factors. 1. All arahats and teaching monks who intend to propagate the teachings of the Buddha will perform his duties without resorting to slandering, attacking, or gossiping, and will avoid all false and harmful speech. 2. They will not harm, injure, or cause anyone distress. They will avoid all misdeeds committed physically. 3. 
They will firmly adhere to the 227 precepts of their monastic code of discipline and maintain proper decorum. 4. They must practice moderation by knowing the appropriate amount of alms to accept or consume to sustain their livelihood. 5. They must reside in peaceful and suitable places that are appropriate for endeavoring in their meditation practice. 6. All arahats and teaching monks must maintain purity of mind at all times by keeping their mind centered in every activity they carry out, whether it be standing, walking, sitting, or resting. Now that everyone has learned about the meaning and the important principles behind Makat Busha Day, we encourage you to invite all your loved ones to come participate in the lighting of Makat lanterns at the Grand Meditation Square of the Mahadamagaya Sitiya as homage to the Buddha 